my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Homegrounds. We're a place for you to go to learn more about brewing and enjoying better quality coffee right at home. And today we're looking at this brand new espresso machine, the Saitis Cubic. Saitis is a newer manufacturer of kitchen appliances with a focus on coffee gear. And this is their brand new espresso machine catered to the home barista. So today we're gonna to be looking at all of the features of this machine. We're gonna be talking about what we at Homegrounds love about it, some things we wish were a little bit different, and then who we think this machine is for. So a very basic overview, this is an espresso machine with a built-in grinder. It is able to brew espresso and steam milk. It cannot do both at the same time, but it has both of those abilities. It can also dispense hot water. Now let's hop into the smaller details that make this machine different. First being this portafilter. And this is actually a 58 millimeter portafilter which is sort of the industry standard for espresso machines. You don't normally see espresso machines in this price range with a 58 millimeter portafilter. And so this is going to ensure that you get cafe quality espresso and that you can also use a lot of extra accessories that you can upgrade on this machine that we'll talk about later. But this portafilter is really nice. It's really hefty. It uses, like I said, 58 millimeter baskets. They include both a double and a single basket with the machine. Another big feature about this machine is the built-in grinder. And there are some other machines in this price range that have a built-in grinder and an espresso machine, but this one's a little bit different because it can both do grinding for espresso all the way up to drip coffee. So you may not have as much adjustment in the espresso range, but it's nice because you can use this for other drip methods. So if you have a regular drip coffee maker, you can grind using this machine and it grinds great for espresso. The pump in this machine is made by an Italian manufacturer, Olka. It is a 15 bar pump that is producing nine bars of pressure. So you have a nice consistent espresso from shot to shot. All the features on the machine are accessible via a nice LCD screen right here on the front. You can adjust things like grinding times, water temperatures, shot volumes, and then some auto cleaning options as well. So this machine uses an NTC temperature control system with stainless steel pipes and an aluminum alloy heating system. So it's going to provide you with a really nice, consistent and stable temperature. And then like I mentioned earlier, you are able to change the shot temperatures on this machine. So you can go from 65 to 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. This machine also has volumetric controls in there. So what that means is that it will automatically dispense coffee and water based on the shot size that you're looking to pull. So you're able to both in the single and double espresso settings, control the amount of grinding or coffee that is coming out. And then also the amount of water that is going to push through those grounds. So you have options for single shots ranging from 30 to 50 milliliters of water. And then for double shots, you can adjust that between 70 and 90 milliliters. Over here, you can see a steam wand. It is actually a pretty powerful steam wand for a machine this size. It gives you great texture milk for cappuccinos, lattes, or any other milk-based beverages. The only thing I will mention about that is there is a slight delay when you turn on the steam wand. You do it all from the LCD up here. And when you press the on button for the steam wand, there is a about two second delay until that starts going. So I just had to get used to that a little bit, but I can deal with that. And especially with the quality of milk that you are able to get with that steam wand, I am very impressed. The last thing I wanna mention is that you get all of the necessary accessories with the machine. So it comes with the portafilter, a single basket, a double basket, a nice hefty tamper that can rest right up top here. Then you get the steaming pitcher, so you get everything you need in order to start making delicious espresso drinks right at home. So now what are some things that we at Home Grounds love about this machine? One of the biggest things for me personally is this 58 millimeter portafilter. It really just makes this machine feel a lot more targeted towards the higher end espresso enthusiasts. Like I said earlier, you don't really see many machines in this price range with a 58 millimeter portafilter. And not only does that allow you to already begin getting great espresso with the machine as it is, but you can also upgrade those parts to get some different results and possibly better results. So you can do things like 
go from a spouted porta filter. So instead of having these spouts at the bottom here, you can get a bottomless or naked porta filter. You'll just have to make sure that it is compatible with the machine. You can also get things like a precision basket to upgrade the basket in there and then accessories. So you can do things like WDT tools or distribution tools, or maybe if you wanna switch out the tamper, there's a lot more options out there. They're a lot easier to find for 58 millimeter porta filters versus any of the smaller sizes. So I really like that. It really makes this machine feel a little more professional and right in your kitchen. Another thing we really love is the built-in grinder on this machine. So one of the biggest expenses that you incur when you get into espresso is to find an espresso grinder because grinding fine enough for espresso is a little bit difficult, especially for cheaper machines. So you're usually spending quite a bit of money on the grinder. So to have one built into a machine like this that you don't have to have a completely separate device grinding coffee is a real game changer. And not only that, but I like the ability to grind both for drip and espresso with this grinder. And other machines similar to this, you don't have the ability to grind coarser like that. So you do lose out on a little bit of range within the espresso range. So maybe you can't dial it in as well as some other machines, but you're still able to get really good espresso and you're able to grind for drip, which I think is a big plus. We also really love the volumetric controls in this machine. Although I don't always use volumetric controls, I like to have them available on my espresso machines whenever possible, because a lot of times I'm not the only one using this machine. So for example, I will usually dial in a coffee, I will put beans up here and I will dial in the shot, and then I can just go about setting up all the settings in here to get that con shot consistently. And so if anyone else goes to use this machine, assuming they know how to work the grinder and tamp and everything, they're able to get a great shot on the very first try. They don't have to worry about weighing everything out and going through tasting and wasting coffee. They can get a great shot right away. So that's where volumetric controls can really come in handy. The last thing that we really love about this machine is the price point. So right now this machine is on sale for 499 US dollars, which I think is a really great price, especially since you're getting that 58 millimeter porta filter, a built-in grinder, and a machine that makes great espresso. I would say a very similar espresso machine to this that's already out there that people are familiar with is the Breville Barista Express that is currently being sold for about 750 US dollars. So you're getting this for $250 cheaper, getting a lot of the same features and a couple additional ones in here that I think makes it a really great price point. Now, obviously no espresso machine is gonna be perfect. There are some sacrifices that you have to make if you're not gonna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on an espresso machine for your home. So I wanna be completely transparent on some things that maybe we don't necessarily love, things we would maybe tweak a little bit on the Saitis Cubic. The first being that I wish there was a way to see the brewing pressure that is going on. With other machines, you get a pressure gauge that you can watch to make sure that you are getting nine bars of pressure when you are making espresso. And that's really important because if you're going way over that, you can get bad results in the cup. And so you wanna make sure that this is brewing nine bars of pressure and you're not able to see that visually. You are kind of trusting the machine that it is providing that correct pressure. And I would have no reason to believe that they wouldn't be providing nine bars, but for me, that's just another thing that I like to be able to see when I'm making espresso. Another thing that took me a little bit with this machine is there's a bit of a learning curve as far as getting used to all of the controls on here because there's a lot of different screens and menus that you have to go through in order to adjust certain things. And the manual is pretty good at describing that, but it really took me a few days of using this machine to get a hang of everything. Now that being said, I have no issues now that I know how to use it. It's not an issue for me anymore, but I do just want to point out that it did take me a bit to understand how all of the menus in here work, how to adjust certain things and all of that. The last thing that I want to point out is that this machine is set to Celsius. Now I live in the United States and so I am familiar with Fahrenheit. It's what I use on a daily basis. So for anyone else located in the US that is really only familiar with Fahrenheit, you do have to get used to Celsius. Now that doesn't really matter once it's all set up. I have the temperatures in there. I don't really worry about them on a day to day basis. But I do wish that I could just see it in Fahrenheit. It doesn't seem like that big of a thing to be able to add in here. 
So maybe that will be an additional feature in the future coming from Saitis. So who is this machine for? I think it's for anyone looking to make good espresso right at home very easily with a built-in grinder at a pretty good price point. I don't think there's many other machines in this price point where you can get a grinder and espresso maker all in one for under $500 and for something that makes really good espresso, I think it's a great deal. I wouldn't really hesitate to recommend this to friends that makes good espresso and at a pretty good price point. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any further questions about the Saitis Cubic, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.